trading higher today. Back home, RBI Governor Shakti Kanta Das has said that the central bank intends to get first-hand feedback from banks on how they ensure that the Indian banking system remains resilient and future-ready, even in the face of risks and uncertainties. The RBI has issued a nine-point code of conduct to both public and private sector banks. Sapna joins us now with more. Sapna, take us through that nine-point to-do list. Well, uh, some of the key highlights of what the governor essentially has, uh, you know, communicated in no uncertain terms to both government-owned as well as private sector banks, and it's quite a long list. And uh, you know, he has not minced words. Uh, a couple of the key highlights and messaging to the banks across the board. Uh, number one, uh, you know, RBI has come across certain uh, governance gaps uh, in banks, and they need to be plugged ASAP. Uh, first, in terms of the role of the directors, which is very, very in, in, uh, important, especially the independent directors, the Reserve Bank of India expects them to speak up more and take decisions which are more independent. Uh, you know, uh, their first loyalty is towards the bank and uh, not otherwise. In no uncertain terms, this has been reiterated. Second, uh, RBI in certain instances has found that, uh, you know, board discussions are kind of driven or uh, dominated by the CEO. Uh, or the chairperson. Uh, the, the RBI has frowned upon it very clearly. They want uh, better discussions and more, uh, you know, open, open expression of dissenting views. Uh, they have come down on this as well. Third, in terms of the value culture in the banks, uh, here the RBI has said that, you know, especially the monitoring of the social media, the kind of messaging that comes out, uh, banks have to be very proactive and very alert on that front. In some instances, it was Reserve Bank of India that had to shoulder the burden and they had to come out with certain uh, you know clarifications and advisories to prevent a panic within the public uh, the bank should take proper uh, action on this front and they should be very sensitive to it a very clear messaging again coming out uh, also two more important aspects the quality of information basically talking about the quality of the board meetings the kind of agenda papers that are circulated almost uh, you know uh, cocking a snook at bank boards uh, the governor says that uh, some of these uh, you know, uh, the, the board agendas are uh, basically uh, presentations. So he has said in no uncertain terms that, you know, you cannot have a guided tour by these presentations. They are nowhere agenda notes. And uh, many a time there is information gap, material gap in those agenda notes. So banks need to pull up their socks on that front. As well as last but not the least, RBI has also flagged evergreening of bad loans, not just by uh, you know, private sector banks, but also public sector banks, where the uh, governance probably in certain ways is, is, is far great, greater because they're government owned. And uh, he has said very clearly that uh, there are many instances across the board when the RBI has said, okay, stop this. So they have come up with some other method of evergreening. They have frowned upon it and they have said that uh, this will be taken uh, note of and this should not happen. Right. All right, Sapna, appreciate you joining us to take us through the key highlights of the Reserve Bank's message to both public and private sector banks. Days after the RBI withdrew the